Hi and welcome back. In the last couple of videos we've been discussing how to add content to your different pages. And in this video I want to show you how to set up a simple table of information on a page. Now we've already got quite a bit of stuff going on on this page so I'm actually going to go to the about.html page right here. You can go ahead and choose any file you want that we've created to go ahead and work with tables. And I'm going to go ahead and click down here below contact, I'm just on a blank line. If you don't have a blank line, just click at the end of contact and hit enter a couple times. And to add the table to the page, I'm going to go to the insert menu and select table. When I do that, this dialog box will appear here. Now, we're only going to set a couple of these parameters here and that's because things like border and the padding and the spacing we're going to go ahead and specify using CSS which is a much easier and much more powerful way to format information and again in this first few videos we're just focusing on setting up your pages and adding content to them we're not worried about format or presentation at all right now so I need to choose the number of rows and the number of columns that are going to be in my table and you can see I've got 4x4 four four here and then you're going to choose the table width which I'm going to go ahead and make 500 pixels and again you could remove anything from border padding and spacing here now the final option that's right down here is going to be header not the final option but the middle option here is going to be header and you can choose where in your table headings appear one option here is none that you could select in other words it's just a generic table of information without any headings that's going to be kind of rare or you can say I have headings just on the left or just on the top or you can choose to have headings on both the left and the top for our table I'm gonna go ahead and just select top here and you'll see the difference Finally, you can go ahead and enter a caption for your table, and you can also add a summary. I'm going to go ahead and type um, sample table here for caption, and I'm going to type sample summary of table content here. And you'll see the way those affect the code in just a second. So I've gone ahead and I've set up my table. I'm going to click OK here. And there is my table. And you're going to notice your caption appears as a single cell all the way across the top of your table. And since I typed in sample table there, you're going to see that is the text that's placed in there. You could always go and um, alter that if you wanted to. I could type sample table of information here. Or whatever you want. Now I also chose that the first row in my table, this row right here, was going to contain headings. And as I click inside of each one of those, you're going to go ahead and see that the cursor is centered. Whereas if I click in the other cells, they're aligned to the left. Right now, this is controlled because it's it's just using the defaults for Dreamweaver. But your browser, when you actually look at it, you can format that differently with CSS. So I'm actually going to go in here and type out some, uh, say some names of some months. There we go. And you can see they sort of compressed and expanded there. And I'm just going to go ahead and type in some values now. And there we go. We've got a table of information. And again, the first row, these are marked as headers. Now, several times we've gone ahead and taken a peek behind the scenes at Code View. We're going to do the exact same thing right now. And again, we're not worried about formatting, just about the structure. So when I go into Code View, you're going to see here is my table right below my unordered list and you can see the width is set for 500 then I can see summary right there 
sample summary of table contents. Now, you actually don't see the summary at all right here. What this is for, I'm sorry, what this summary is for are for people that use screen readers and also for search engine optimization. So again, this isn't seen at all. It's merely for search engine optimization and uh, screen readers. And then you're going to see the caption there, sample table of information. And it actually broke that onto two lines, but I could go ahead and make that a little bit more meaningful just by doing that. So there's my caption. And then you're going to see my first row in my table. And again, we're going to get more into detail on that. But I want you to notice that each one of these cells in the first row is marked with a TH tag. And then it closes right there. And the rest of these just have TD tags. And these stand for, just like the P tag stood for paragraph, and the H tag stand for headings, this is a table heading, and this is a table data cell. A table heading cell and a table data cell. TR stands for table row. So fairly easy to read that code. And again, as we go through the different videos, you'll see um, some of the uh, some of the different uh, tags that you can use in HTML. But you can already see just with the little bit of information that I've given you how you can sort of read this code fairly simply. And I'm going to come back here into Design View. So that's all you have to do to set up a table of information on a page inside of um, Dreamweaver. Now the next thing we're going to go ahead and do in the next video is take a brief look at what CSS is and how you can use CSS to format things like headers and text and whatnot. And that will get us to the point where we're ready to begin actually working on our first project website. So I'll see you in the next video.